but let me just say but let me just say this let me just say this and let me just say this as well but let me just say this the rap battle is the most sophisticated form of human doolery many experts agree that it is the only true way to settle a dispute between men and while many attempt to master this art form many fail and boy do i have what is quite possibly the greatest example of how not to do a rap battle for you today so i came across this video from like this australian rap battle YouTube channel. This used to be a pretty big thing in like the late 2000s, early 2010s. These YouTube channels dedicated to these like public rap battles where anybody could join and they had these like long series and these made up rivalries. And the one we're going to be watching today is this like special event between the two household names, Touche and Snipes. Now this rap battle starts as what can only be described as mediocre and then slowly morphs into what is simultaneously the worst first and most hilarious video I have ever seen. I cannot even begin to prepare you for the bars you're about to hear, so let's begin. Please subscribe. On my left, we got my boy Touche, give it up. Yeah. Let's get this shit cracking, man. Three minutes is too long to spend thinking about this kid. Yeah. Oh. Showing a lot of love for bro. And on this side of my right, we have the homie Snipes. Put, come on, give it up. So, yeah. Alright, so our main man Snipes here is going to be the focus of this video. Touche kind of can rap, I mean he still has some pretty cringy moments, but I don't even think Snipes knows what rapping is, I think he accidentally showed up to this. Also there's probably going to be a bunch of cut audio these fine gentlemen really just kind of say cuss words and then throw in a normal word here and there. Not that I really have a problem with that, but YouTube does. <laughs> So, so uh, Touche, Touche won the coin toss, he's gonna go first, is that right? Yep. He's gonna go first, 60 seconds on Touche, listen up. Alright, let's hope this shit isn't like last time. Alright, straight up, if my dog had a face like yours, I'd shave his f***ing ass and teach it to walk backwards. <laughs> Half the time I wonder why I rap for. They don't say these cats are all ripping badly, seriously, they're missing originality, so don't you think it's time one else locked their back door? I mean, what are you gonna do? I'll bet you he'll say I'm on some Yo, I'm so ill, I grew up in a sick bay and I think he got it around the other way. All right, so this is probably some sort of like a geographical context thing, but um, I have absolutely no idea what this guy is talking about. He could be dropping the hottest bars this planet has ever seen, but I don't even know what he's saying. I mean, he sounds confident, so he's got that going for him. This is just basic. <laughs> Yo, you know how whores go to St. Kilda, right? You love where the vinegarish clitoris is. But he's hitting his bitch's difference she opens the door and stands out the front. I roll past giving a shit like, FISH TASTE BETTER WITH LEMON YOU SLUT! Now I will admit, I have never been to Australia, but I don't think that there is a single place on this planet where talking about fish with lemon on it makes sense in the context of a rap battle. If there are any Australians watching this, please translate. Wait a second. Okay. Okay. I get it. I had to listen to it again. I believe this fine young man is referring to an unpleasant odor stemming from this other gentleman's girl friend's nether region, and he is making a humorous remark about that odor. I see. <laughs> she, flips, she flips out of a nut and chases me down, I'm like, there's no need to get sour. Oh. You think I'm gonna be polite? <laughs> nah. In all honesty, I couldn't say it any nicer. The best way to advise you is to stay where your lights are, then tape your eyes up so you'll have slight light to survive like five months if I decide to not slide an off inside your guts, and even if you take your karma, you're still a on the fate decider. I'll run on empty, you fill your tank right up. It's my job to drain you in a cipher. You got a better chance of taming a tiger with raping a dog like this off a face inside a gay nightclub time. Alright, so I will admit this guy's got pretty decent flow. From a person who doesn't speak Australian, I did not understand about 60% of that, but I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he was probably saying something clever. But now, it is time to prepare yourself for what is going to be just one of the worst experiences of your life. Yeah. 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 Let's run up snipes, let's go! Good. I'm sorry little kids, but I'm a killer clown today. I could say bullets are gonna spray. I'm from Brooklyn. That's all right But let me just say I like to get close and personal with a razor-sharp object But let me just say this I'm not gonna stab you in the heart What I'm gonna do is grab a pen stab you in the neck puncture your lungs then slam a blunt object into your stomach Yeah, um 
Let me just focus on the positives first. That gave me the hardest laugh of, like, the entire year. I mean, that hit you in the stomach with a blunt object line has got to be just one of the greatest things ever said by a human. However, to be real, I don't know if this qualifies as rap. This is like a professor at Princeton explaining to the police how he killed his wife. This is just a detailed plan on how he's gonna murder somebody, given in the most mundane way imaginable. This is not a rap, it's a terroristic threat. Blunt object into your stomach and cause internal bleeding. Now, before you die, let me just say this. The reason I call myself Snipes is because I take my time to rhyme. I'm not complicated. Um, yeah, Snipes, buddy. I don't really think that that's the announcement you think it is. I can't imagine anybody was struggling to decipher the meaning of this message here. But... I'm like a sniper. I aim straight for the heart or the head. I'm straight and direct. I might hide two Ks that way. You'll know when I hit you as soon as you hit the ground. <laughs> but this guy said some on Facebook. Here we go, Joke of the Dark Knight. So don't let me go all James Holmes on you, Dark Knight shooter. Is that a little bit too soon? Maybe. And let me just say this as well. If you want to be the Joker, why don't I give you a bottle of pills, a Chelsea smile, and instead of Heath Ledger dying, why don't you replace his death? This is hands down one of the most uncomfortable things I have ever seen. The crowd has not made a single sound in the last minute. I don't know why this guy is so obsessed about raps involving this guy dying, but you'd think with all the focus that obviously went into thinking of ways that he could kill this guy, there'd be at least one clever line. But no, his finishing line, or what I really hope is his finishing line, is is you can replace a movie character who died, so you die. Come on, Snipes. Because nobody would give two sh about a guy who looks like a f meth head. What's wrong with that? Time! <laughs> give it up for that round! Okay, so we're gonna skip Touche because decent rapping has lost my interest. We gotta see if Snipes improves at all or if it only goes further downhill. And I'm Snipes! You said in your first battle against H. Murray that his face looks like he got into a fight with the Bible. You can't say shit. your face looks like you got into a fight with the blunt side of an axe. What what does that even mean, Snipes? What is your obsession with blunt objects? That is just objectively false. The man would not have a face if he got into a fight with the blunt side of an axe. I mean, you are literally better off just saying your face is ugly than pulling out something like that. <laughs> Time! Time! Alright, last verse on Snipes! Let's go, homie. You think that I'm a soft cock. Really, I couldn't give two f because you don't know me. You don't know what I've lived through. But let me just say this. I'm not the one to judge people. Yeah, this is rap battling. I couldn't give two f***s. Only for the factor of I do this because I love it. Whether or not I choke out, it doesn't matter. But at one ounce, if there's an MC like you, who basically, their shit just reeks like Indian curry, the after effects, then don't waste your time. He is literally just talking. This has lost any sort of musical aspect it might have had. This has reduced to him just lecturing Touche for beating him in a rap battle. Go do something else. Go do something with your life. We should make a law. If Touche's ever gonna make a kid, ever have a kid, get his dick in a we should shoot the little kid. Do you know how badly you have to embarrass a man for him to start saying that he wants laws that state that your children must be instantly shot? This is more embarrassing than anything he said because it shows just how badly his feelings have been hurt by this guy. So we don't want little touche, touches coming around like headless chickens, a waste of space. But I'm gonna say this, maybe next time, I'll come prepared. I got f***ed up last night, forgot my lines, couldn't memorize them, don't know where the f*** put the piece of paper in my house. I bet you after, <laughs> That's real. Now I bet you after this battle, I'm gonna go home. 
just be wandering around having a ciggy. And then I'm just gonna find them and be like, ah, oh, f no, there they are. This has quickly gone from like funny, happy cringe to just straight up sad embarrassment. He is trying so hard to claw his way out of this hole, he has completely abandoned anything that is even resembling rapping. He is just piling on excuses as to why it's okay that he lost this rap battle. Right in front of me. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> Give it real. And this is all freestyle only because I choked out, I forgot my lines, I couldn't give two f**ks. But no one can give two f**ks about a clown who tries and acts tough. Time. A great way to recognize if somebody actually does give f**ks is if they are repeatedly saying just how much they don't give any f**ks. This guy is hurting. Well, I feel like I need to go shower the cringe off of my body. I only watched the first few minutes of this video before deciding to make something on it. I did not know it was gonna get that bad. Ugh. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.